Hey everybody, this is Daniel, and this is Morning Tea. How's everybody doing? I know, I know, it's been a long time since I've been on, on Morning Teas. Uh, I've gotten messages from you guys. Um, I want to thank everybody who has written to me and asked me, Where are you? I'm here, I'm here. It's just that, uh, uh, starting off, and this, this is part of the Morning Tea message. Um, honestly, I came back from Texas, and I was... Uh, I got homesick. I was homesick from the moment that I got here. From the moment I got on the plane, I was already missing my family in Texas, and I, my head was not in the right place. If you could see this part of, of my, from right here to right here, it's clean. But if you could see right there where, where my bed is, it's a mess. My apartment is really a mess. I, I let it just fall to sideways, um, because I, I, uh, I hadn't been that depressed in a long time and I just wasn't inspired and I, I thought how can I possibly deliver some inspirational message when I'm not even inspired myself so it it, it took me a little bit and uh, it it took I finally took my own I took my own um, advice and I, I tell a lot of people you know sometimes when you're not feeling it you gotta just sit back and let God and the universe handle it. Let them work things out and uh, figure things out for you. So that's what I did. I, I, I sat down and it's been about a, a, a month. It's now November. I got back October 3rd. So it's been a month, over a month now. And um, slowly and steadily, God started, uh, let me fix this up for you. Uh, God, God started uh, rearranging things for me. And... Uh, it's really turning. Uh, you know, one of the things, careful what you ask for. Well, here's how it started. I, I asked God and the universe. I'm like, if, if I'm supposed to stay in California, could you please mark the path for me? And, and I, will, I will follow. I will, I will blindly and full of confidence and trust in you, I will follow if you just, if you just open the path for me. And... Um, I started submitting to acting jobs again. I, I pretty much completely stopped acting, and I decided to, to jump back big into it. I, I stopped working at the Shocker Shack where I was working, and I decided to um, uh, just go back and, 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 and see where, where my path was supposed to go. Uh, I'm still practicing. I, I'm still available for readings if anybody's interested. interested. Uh, so I decided to just open my... my open up again and see where it led me. Well, God bless. If I'm not blessed, um, I've, I've been cast in a couple of short films. I've been cast uh, in a, a, I've gone in a big film. Uh, I will give you more information on that as, as, as it comes out. Um, just shot that last week. Uh, I have a, a commercial on Friday and a film on Saturday and I might be scheduled to shoot something over the Thanksgiving week. So, um, and I've submitted some more, some more stuff, and hopefully I have an audition this afternoon. So hopefully things will just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. Uh, I'm excited to see uh, things where they go. I, I'm just... I finally let the universe do for me what I couldn't do for myself. I let God do for me what I couldn't do for myself, and that was get me out of the slump. Um, I, I can't always do it. I, I can't always, um, I'm not always that strong, and for those of you that follow me on Facebook, you, you saw, and, um, this was the true testament of fake it till you make it moments. I had to fake that everything was great. I had to fake that things were going to shine and, and that everything was beautiful. I even closed the window the blinds in my window in my dining room, which have not been closed in almost two years, they, they got, they were shut. I shut them. And it, I look at them now, and, and I, I'm going to go open everything up and let the sun back into my living room. Um, I had to pretend that things were okay. Because otherwise, the negativity wins, and I couldn't let the negativity win. I was not going to do it. I didn't do it with any other things in my life. There were so many other times that I could have let negativity win me over, and I, and I did, and, and I, I, I pushed through it. And you know what? 
I have to thank myself, and, and that's something I learned in therapy. Uh, today's Wednesday on Monday. We on therapy Monday. It's like I have to thank myself. I had to take the time to thank myself and go, you know what, you know, we thank God and we thank the universe and we thank people that help us out. But when do we thank ourselves? Because we're the ones in the body. We're the ones that get out there and do it. So I had to thank myself. And I will take this time, because I'll probably see this over, I'll take this time to thank me. Daniel, I want to thank you for your positive attitude. I want to thank you for posting all those messages and I want to thank you for posting all those funny quotes and funny videos. I want to thank you for keeping my Facebook page up uplifted and in good moods. Um, you know Daniel you you are the person's closest to me and nobody knows me better than you. So I'm glad that you saw through my darkness and I'm glad that you saw through my sadness and I'm glad that you saw through the tears and that you knew that inside in there was the light that wanted to come out through so thank you Daniel for not letting me completely fall and, and forget who I was and maybe gone into drugs and alcohol again so Daniel thank you for that so um, I hope that you will take your time to thank yourself Take a little time to thank yourself for what you have accomplished, because if you, no matter how many, how much people, no matter how many people open doors for you, or no matter how much God does for you, or how much the universe lays before you, if you don't take those steps, if you physically, your body does not physically take that next step, you're never going to get there. It doesn't matter what kind of opportunities are in front of you. It doesn't matter what kind of things are waiting for you. But if you don't take physically, and I'm going to get pushy here. If your ass doesn't get off the couch and does something about it, it means nothing. It, 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 it'll evaporate. It's, it's, the, it's that story of the man that uh, was in the flood. and We've all heard it, but I'll, I'll tell you it again. The man that was in the flood. Um, water starts coming and people and you know, the soldiers come in a big uh, truck and they're like, Sir! You have to get in the truck. It's going to fly. He's like, no, I'm waiting for a message from God. And they're like, okay. So they take off. When the water starts rising, a little uh, rowboat comes along. He's like, sir, you need to get in the boat. Water's running, rising. And he's like, no, I'm waiting for a message from God. And they're like, all right. So they row away. Um, water goes up higher. And a helicopter comes along. That's a helicopter. Uh... The helicopter guy goes, sir, you got to get in the helicopter. And he's like, no, I'm waiting for a message from God. So the helicopter's like, all right. That's my helicopter. Um, the water comes and takes the man away, and he dies. So he gets up to heaven, and he, it's his turn before God, and, and goes, God, man, what's up? He's like, what happened? And he goes, I, I, I was waiting for you. And God's like, really? He goes, dude, I sent you a truck. I sent you a boat. I sent you a helicopter. What else did you want? So, you know, God sent me the truck. And I was like, I'm not waiting for the boat or the helicopter. I can't wait for it. Uh, it sent me these opportunities, and I'm going to seek them. Um, a lot of people would criticize that it's non-paying jobs. That I'm, I'm, I'm in there. But you know what? It's getting me off the couch. And that's what I needed. I needed that these jobs, pay or no pay, are my truck. And it's coming to pick me up, and I am not waiting for the waters to get higher. I'm going to jump on the truck and go for the ride and see where it takes me. So I invite you, friends. I invite all of you. Get on the truck. Um, oh, I'm, I'm almost running out of time. <laughs> so here it is. It's time to leave the unhealthy situation. How's that? Thank you, uh... Doreen Virtue for these cards. These are the uh, Archangel Michael cards. And uh, just the one that I picked, guys. Go figure. It's time to leave the unhealthy situation. And the prayer for today says, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. I'll say that again. Archangel Michael, what part of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers 
and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. So with that, guys, thank you. Morning Tea is back. I will do my best to be here every... Today's Wednesday. I, I, I probably... Uh, it will probably ship dates. I may not always be able to do it on Tuesdays, but you will have me here once a week at least. So I love you guys. Thank you for welcoming me back. I will see you next time. God bless.